This Sunday will mark 21 years since the deadly 9-11 terrorist attacks. It was a pivotal moment in history that prompted the creation of the Transportation Security Administration two months later. Since then, the TSA has evolved with our changing times, including the technology they use. April Baker is live inside Salt Lake City International Airport to show us. They keep on updating it. They certainly do, Dan. A lot of TSA's newer technology cannot be seen by you and me, but we got the rare opportunity to view the automation that keeps us safe the moment we drop our bags off at the ticket counter. Here's a look at Salt Lake City International Airport's checked baggage inspection system. Each day, around 13,000 pieces of luggage travel along these automated conveyor belts. They can be from a ticket counter to the tug or an aircraft in less than seven minutes. Utah TSA spokesperson Lori Dankers shows us how the system works. She says bags are tracked, sorted, and screened through explosive detection system units. They create 3D X-ray images that show what's inside each bag. If the technology flags something in the bag as being a potential security threat, the image generated by this unit pops up on screen, and a TSA officer has a finite amount of time to look at that image to determine if they can resolve the threat on screen. If they can't, the luggage is flat to be physically inspected. Danker says their agents open less than 5% of bags. Technology clears the rest. Do you have anything sharp or dangerous in the bag? What we've been able to do is integrate technology into our processes that help with the efficiency. We've modified our procedures to make them relevant to today's environment. Because of the ongoing pandemic, Danker says it involves integrating technology that reduces physical contact between travelers and TSA officers. Hey, come on up. So you're just inserting your ID into the slot. And we're going to get your picture today also. We're going to scan your boarding pass right up there. That includes this credential authentication technology, or CAT. It's a facial recognition system that TSA officers started using this summer at the screening area in Salt Lake. Danker says it plays a vital role in passenger verification. Where it scans somebody's photo ID, but it also has a camera with it to take a live photo of the traveler to do a facial recognition match. Danker says that TSA does not store the photos that are captured by the CAD technology. Instead, it allows those officers to verify on screen and in real time if the traveler matches the person that's seen on that photo ID. Meanwhile, Salt Lake City International Airport is one of only a handful of airports across the country that has this CAT unit. So we are one of a kind, essentially, guys. So April, uh, off the top of the show, we were joking about, you know, TSA, they find all sorts of things you're not supposed to travel with. Did they talk about some of the more interesting right. items they come across? They did carry, and it's only a small handful of some of the items that they find that are very unusual. Some worth mentioning, nunchucks, there were brass knuckle stun guns. There were also knives of various sorts, some ornate looking handles on those knives. And also what I thought was the most interesting were canes. They look like standard canes, but they're actually, in fact, there was one with a duck head on the top. And when you screwed off the duck head, inside was a sword. So a lot of people say, oh, I didn't know my cane had a sword inside. How did that get in there? So it's so interesting to see what people try to get on planes with. I thought it was just a K. How'd that sword get in there? <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting what people have. My mistake. Not just what they travel with, but just what they have. Interesting. Thanks, April. Never know when you're going to need it.